This programming is brought to you by Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association with partnership from the Dairy Business Innovation Alliance and Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin and with generous support from Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery, Emmy Roth, Great Lakes Cheese Company, Wapsie Valley Creamery, and contributions from Specialty Cheese Company and Westby Cooperative Creamery. Thank you. The phrase safety first is more than a motto for dairy processors. It's a must. In this video, we'll show you how this industry works to protect both its customers and its workforce. I wash my hands, you know, 50 times a day, I swear. Melissa Myers is a cheese vat operator and cheese packager, and her hands are very clean. It's more of a safety thing than anything. Food safety practices are mandated by both federal and state regulations, and each dairy processing plant creates protocols, sometimes called GMPs. GMP is a good manufactured practice that we have to do every day. GMPs help plants meet government regulations and protect their customers. You definitely want to make sure everything going out the door is the best quality it can be and it's, it's safe for everybody. We just cannot have people getting sick from the food that we make, it just cannot happen. There are two main categories of GMPs. Dairy processors have standard food safety practices that relate to employee cleanliness and protocols that relate to facility and equipment cleanliness. Common requirements for employees may include a uniform and plant-specific footwear or booties. Bad bacteria, like listeria, or dirt can enter a processing plant through your street clothes or shoes. Uniforms and clean footwear are critical GMPs for dairy product safety. Working at a dairy processing plant also means wearing hair and beard nets. Fingernails must be kept trimmed and free of polish. Jewelry should not be worn in production areas. And frequent hand washing is required in all dairy processing facilities. That means scrubbing vigorously in the crevices of your hands, fingertips, under your fingernails, and the space between the fingers with warm water and soap for a minimum of 20 seconds. Hand sanitizers are used in dairy plants in addition to, not instead of, hand washing. When you pass it, pump it. Just put your hand on the sanitizer and get some sanitizer on your hand. Dairy processors may also require employees to wear gloves in certain areas of a plant or for certain tasks. Gloves should be changed anytime an employee has used the restroom, picked up something off the floor, touched their personal belongings, eaten a snack or lunch, and anytime they are dirty. Employee health practices are also important components of food safety plans. If you're sick, you need to stay at home. And employees must be aware of the threat of allergens contaminating dairy foods and keep their lunches and snacks, in addition to gum, candy, and cough drops, in the break room. Smoking is prohibited in all dairy processing plants. If you've ever seen a recall, and we all have on the news or something, and that's, you gotta ultimately remember, that's why you're following all these procedures. Your ultimate goal is to produce a quality, safe product for everybody. This cheese that we produce right here, your kids, your brother or sister, maybe your husband or wife is going to be eating this. So we have to be sure that we always produce good quality food. Dairy processors also work hard to keep their plants clean and sanitary. Equipment should be cleaned and sanitized after every use. Cleaning tools are often color-coded to prevent cross-contamination. White tools are for product contact. Uh, you can tell if they're clean or dirty very easily because they're light in color. So these only touch product contact surfaces or product. Yellow is for the outsides of equipment and things that uh, are, are near product and black tools are for floors and floor drains only. When repairs to equipment or the facility are needed, plant mechanics take special care. You know, I can't go and drill a hole in something and leave, you know, metal shavings on the floor, you know. You gotta really make sure you're taking the proper precautions to protect the cheese and the product. I keep my work areas clean and free of anything small that could get into the 
product. And laboratory technicians and quality assurance personnel take care to test not only incoming milk and finished products, but also the environment in which you'll work. You'll see them swabbing equipment, door handles, even your hands to determine how well the team is following GMPs. What I do every day is to make sure that the chip that is going to our customer is safe and with great quality. Part of that effort involves federally and state mandated documentation. Record keeping is the number one most important thing you can do um, in your job. Uh, if you didn't document it, you didn't do it according to the FDA. Some food safety practices, like good hand washing, protect not only consumers, but also you and your coworkers. Dairy processors have also invested heavily in equipment and processes to make sure you are protected from potential dangers at work. Modern dairy processing plants are increasingly automated. It takes a lot of the physical labor out of the position, so it's easier for somebody to have that position all the way to the day they retire. Still, lifting may be necessary based on your role and the products your employer makes. Repetitive motions are a hazard, so pay close attention to trainings that can help you avoid stress injuries to your muscles and nerves, and let your supervisor know if you're feeling any strain. Many plants are designed to help minimize the risk of your exposure to hazards. Our ammonia refrigeration system has a lot of safety procedures around it, and we want to keep it separate from forklifts and people. Chemicals used in refrigeration or sanitation may also be locked up or otherwise segregated from work areas when not in use. Your employer will provide the information you need to handle these materials properly. We spend a lot of time training them which chemicals can and cannot mix um, for their safety. Training is also essential for the safe operation of equipment that may have blades, augers, or other moving mechanical parts. I also make sure that I myself are safe by locking everything out, keeping other people away from stuff that they shouldn't be around. And employees who operate specialized equipment may be required to take part in additional classes to perform their daily tasks safely. Be sure to make use of all required personal protective equipment, or PPE, as well, including eye protection. We want everybody to go home in the same condition they showed up at, or better. Boy, that's, that's hard. That's like asking you what your, what your favorite candy bar is. My favorite favorite one is pepper jack. And sometimes we do habanero, so I like spice. I would say marble. It's hard to beat. I like Havarti I like a lot, um, our three chili gouda, and especially our grand crew. That might be a Wisconsin thing, but fresh curd is number one. Hands down is our aged gouda. Um, I would love, I wish you, I could, I could share some right now. Feta's really good. A pepper jack, provolone. Cheddar. Butter case, Havarti. I don't know, I just love all sorts of cheeses, but uh, Colby Jack's probably my number one. Dairy products are my favorite products, so. <laughs> Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association thanks you for watching. Thanks also go to our programming partners, the Dairy Business Innovation Alliance and Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. Generous sponsors, Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery, Emmy Roth, Great Lakes Cheese Company, Wapsi Valley Creamery, and contributors, Specialty Cheese Company, and Westby Cooperative Creamery. Thank you.